So I thought I'd come on here today to tell you guys my crazy people story, my public freakout. Not my personal public freakout, but when I had to deal with a public freakout. Just because you see them all the time on shows like Drunken Peasants and the Ben Pie stream. And I keep, it's always funny because Ben brings up, he's like, I'm so glad I haven't lived through one of these. I, I'm surprised I haven't gone through one yet. And uh, as somebody who's been through one, it's not fun at the time, but after the fact, it is a fun story to tell. So I want to tell you guys mine. Uh, so this was during my freshman year of college. I was still, I was at a college that was around my home. So I was still living at home, and I hadn't had my driver's license yet, so I was still working on getting it. And so, uh, everybody probably who learned how to drive, most of you at least, uh, when your parents are teaching you to drive, are very on the edge of their seat. They're like always thinking you're about to crash the car and kill them. And so, uh, my dad didn't fall into that category, but my mom surely did. And so this was, I wasn't a bad driver at the time. I was, I was pretty much ready to take my test, but I did not have my license yet. Um, so some context to the story is uh, a week before this incident, my mom had fallen down the steps and broke her leg. So she was in a cast. I had to stop at the bank and I think she did too. So we just went together. So I drove over to the bank. So I'm getting ready to pull out of the bank. And so the bank is in the middle of a huge shopping area and there's parking lots all around, but there's like a road that runs in between. So I have to make a left turn out of this parking lot onto the road and uh, look both ways. There is a car coming to the right and I can make it before this car gets there pretty well. But my mom, on the other hand, doesn't think so because she's in her panicky, oh my God, we're going to die mode as she got into. And so I'm getting ready to pull out and I start pulling out and she starts panicking and she's like, oh, hit the brakes, hit the brakes. And so I, I, I do because I think, oh, the car speed up, entirely possible. And I look and not really, but I, I stop and I'm just going to let this car go by. And so I'm sitting pretty much blocking the one lane coming from the left, but nobody was coming that way really at the time. And so, but this guy who's coming from the right, um, he slows down. And he starts yelling at me. He's like, I had the right of way, blah, blah, blah. And I think that was only because I'm like part way out. So it looks like I was going to really just cut him off at the last second. But I decided not to. Um, so I'm sitting there and he's just yelling at me. So, of course, like every driver, most likely, uh, I flicked the guy off. That's probably lesson one. That's a big no-no with crazy people, especially on the road. The middle finger giving that to them. That's that's like pulling pulling a gun on their family or something like that. They jump into defensive mode right away, and so this like totally white trash, uh, like probably in his thirties white dude gets out in his tank top. Um, oh, he, before he gets out of his car, uh, he's he he turns to me as he's driving by really slowly, and I did that, and so he starts flipping the shit. I was like, oh, you want to fight? You want to fight, bro? And so he. He not only stops his car to get out of his car to come over to my car, he pulls his car uh, past mine to block both lanes of the road. And at this point, somebody else is coming down the road. And so now they're, they're either they're stuck or they just have to run into his car, which that, that's not happening. So this guy gets out of his car and comes over to, to, to my car, my mom's car. And so he just is like, you want to fight? You want to fight? And he punches the window. Um... This is where my mom probably made the biggest mistake in the incident, was she jumped into defensive mode. But this probably uh, made this look a lot worse for the guy in a, in a bit here, which I'll get to that part of the story in a second. But so she gets out of the car, and remember, she has a cast on. She, she's wobbling over to the guy, and she's just yelling at him like, Don't you be punching my car! And I'm just sitting there like, what the fuck do I do? And so I'm sitting there, this guy's just pissed the fuck off, and he's starting to yell at my mom now. And I'm just like, oh my god, this is going to end really badly. But there was a part I had forgotten. And that was, uh, when we drove to the bank, there was a cop sitting in the parking lot across from the bank. And I was reminded of this when the person who was now blocked by this jackass uh, was sitting in the road now. And they, they, they just shout out their call window, uh, there's a cop over there, dude. And 
Lo and behold, a second after that person says that, the sirens go off and the cop literally pulls 10 feet out of the parking lot over to the incident and gets out of his car. Which, at this point, um, I just pulled the car over to the side of the road. Um, and so I, I talked to this cop, who immediately, like, he knew there's something fucked up with this guy. Because here's this guy who just blocked traffic with his car and is freaking out not sitting in his car. And he's the driver. Whereas I'm the driver, I'm sitting in my car. And I'm not freaking the fuck out. So, of course, this guy's getting all pissed off because he's like, oh, he gave me the middle finger and blah, blah, blah. And the cop's just sitting there like, you're the one who blocked traffic and just assaulted somebody's car. And this guy had a lot of attitude with the cop, which you know when you're dealing with a cop, uh, you basically give him an attitude is just uh, the worst idea you could possibly have. So anyway, uh, my the cop uh, basically asks if we want to press charges. Um... My mom immediately is like, no, 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 I don't want to go to court, blah, blah, blah. And he immediately turns to her and is like, you don't get, you are not the driver, you don't get to press charges. Uh, he gets to decide if, uh, if he, he wants to press charges, if, we, if he needs to, if he needs to show up in court to be a witness to this guy. Because I'm about to arrest his ass. And at that point, I was just like, hell yeah, get this guy out the fucking road. And so he gets arrested and he's, he's pissed. You can just tell, he's just like, wow, I just got... And in his mind, he probably saw himself in the right, and I was just some punk-ass kid pulling out in front of him. Um, and so he's, he's, he's ticked. And I'm just, after that incident, driving away, I was just like, huh, that, that's pretty awesome if he went to jail. Don't know if he actually went to jail, don't know if he did, how long he was there. But that was really my crazy story, and that was probably, uh, that's been my only incident with road rage. But... That just goes to show you, if you have road rage, probably not the best idea to do that while a cop is sitting in the parking lot 10 feet away. So anyway, that's my crazy person story. So, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you had your own crazy person story, leave it in the comments below. I love hearing about those type of things. So, go ahead and tell me your crazy person story. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the story. Hit subscribe if you want to see more content from the Admiral Murphy channel. There's a lot more coming your guys' way. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.